Hello everyone, my name is Matthew David, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating my private version of NimCrypt, which is able to bypass Windows Defender as of March 30th, 2021. So right now you can see I'm looking at a Kali Linux virtual machine that currently has my public NimCrypt repository on GitHub loaded in a web browser. This version is currently being detected by Defender, so the first thing I'm going to do is demo that for you. So we're going to copy uh, the link for NimCrypt. We're going to go into a terminal. We're going to git clone it, then hit enter. Then we can cd into the NimCrypt directory, list the files, and we can see that everything is there. Then we can go to the readme on NimCrypt's public GitHub page, copy the file used to compile NimCrypt, paste it in our terminal, then hit enter. And now we should be able to run NimCrypt and encrypt any files that we desire. So the file that we're going to be testing first is Rubius. So I'm simply going to copy that from my private NimCrypt directory into the current one. And now we can see that it's there ready to use. So I already have a NimCrypt command ready to go, which I'm going to paste right here. As you can see, it's taking the rubius.exe file as the input. It's using this as the key. And then as the output, it's using the same file name with an underscore ENC so that we know it's the encrypted version. So we're going to hit enter. And NimCrypt tells us that our file was saved, so that's good. So now we can run a simple Python HTTP server that will host our encrypted file so that we can pull it down and run it on a Windows virtual machine. So here is a Windows Server 2019 virtual machine. We're going to check for Windows updates. We can see that this virtual machine is fully up to date. And we can also check for uh, Windows Defender uh, threat definition updates. And we can see that's also up to date. And if we go back and we look at the threat virus and threat protection settings, we can see that real time protection is turned on. We can also see that cloud delivered protection is turned on. The only thing that's turned off is automatic sample submission and there are no exclusions. So now we can simply open up a PowerShell console. And simply download uh, Rubius like so. And this is the encrypted version that was made with the public version of NimCrypt. So once we run this command, uh, we should expect that Defender uh, catches it and blocks it upon download. So let's try that out. So hit enter. And we can see that uh, Defender gave an alert on the bottom right hand uh, corner of the screen and it's uh, being detected as an AM disable. So the old version, we try to run it It will also uh, print a message uh, saying uh, that the operation could not complete because the file contains a virus. So now what we're going to do is go back to our Kali Linux virtual machine, kill the Python HTTP server, and now we're going to cd into the uh, directory where the private version of NimCrypt exists. And now if we run NimCrypt, we can see this is version 1.1. It's the private version, uh, but we still have the same usage arguments. So now uh, if we run the same command as we did before, this one right here, and hit enter, it should uh, take Rubius, use the same key, uh, use the same output, uh, but this one is using a different stub that will be undetected. As you can see, our output file was successful. Now, if we start our Python listener again, 
and go back to our virtual machine. If we run this command again, instead of taking the old uh, encrypted Rubius file, it will now take the uh, new Rubius encrypted file that was generated with the private version of NimCrypt. And since the private version of NimCrypt uh, has an undetectable stub, um, this should not get detected by Defender. So if I hit enter, we can see that it looked like it saved and no alerts popped up in the corner for us. And now to confirm, we can simply run the file and see if it works. And it looked like it worked. So this was a pretty clear demo of how the public version of NimCrypt uh, is currently being detected by Defender. Um, but the private version that I just demonstrated is still able to bypass Defender as of March 30th, 2021.